Is there more to life than being happy? And what's the difference between being happy and having meaning in life? Even though life is getting objectively better by nearly every conceivable standard, more people feel hopeless, depressed, and alone. According to the research, what predicts this despair is not a lack of happiness; it's a lack of something else, a lack of having meaning in life. Many psychologists define happiness as a state of comfort and ease, feeling good in the moment. Meaning, though, is deeper. The renowned psychologist Martin Seligman says meaning comes from belonging to and serving something beyond yourself, and from developing the best within you. Our culture is obsessed with happiness, but I came to see that seeking meaning is the more fulfilling path. And the studies showed that people who have meaning in life, they're more resilient, they do better in school and at work, and they even live longer. So this all made me wonder. How can we each live more meaningfully? I found that there are what I call four pillars of a meaningful life. The first pillar is belonging. Belonging comes from being in relationships where you're valued for who you are intrinsically, and where you value others as well. True belonging springs from love. It lives in moments among individuals, and it's a choice you can choose to cultivate belonging with others. For others, the key to meaning is the second pillar, purpose. Now, finding your purpose is not the same thing as finding that job that makes you happy. Purpose is less about what you want than about what you give. A hospital custodian told me her purpose is healing sick people. Many parents tell me my purpose is raising my children. The key to purpose is using your strengths to serve others. The third pillar of meaning is also about stepping beyond yourself, but in a completely different way: transcendence. Transcendent states are those rare moments when you're lifted above the hustle and bustle of daily life. Your sense of self fades away, and you feel connected to a higher reality. For one person I talked to, transcendence came from seeing art. For another person, it was at church. For me, I'm a writer, and it happens through writing. The fourth pillar is storytelling, the story you tell yourself about yourself. Creating a narrative from the events of your life brings clarity. It helps you understand how you became you. But we don't always realize that we're the authors of our stories and can change the way we're telling them. Your life isn't just a list of events. You can edit, interpret, and retell your story, even as you're constrained by the facts. Happiness. Comes and goes, but when life is really good and when things are really bad, having meaning gives you something to hold on to.